Hello everyone, it's Dirk from Developer Inspirus. Welcome back to part 2 of Introduction to Core Location. In this video, we will complete our simple app using Core Location to find out the current latitude and longitude of our device. Now let's fill in the body of these if statement. Okay? So for this one, if when we are authorized to use the uh, to use the location service, I will start to update location. Okay, so now I will use location location manager dot start updating location. So this is a method in CL location manager, and I will start updating location. And let's talk about it later on. So now for the not determined, we will use something like request when in use authorization. Okay, so if it is it, it is not determined, then we will request to use location service. I will use location manager dot request when in use authorization. Okay, it's that easy. And for the restricted, the restricted is maybe the user doesn't allow us to use location service or the user is using some kind of like um, the corporate iPad, iPhones, let's say, and those kind of device, the corporate, it locks the location service. So we use, maybe let's, let's just like queen line something, um, unauthorized to use location service, okay? But I could really recommend you to put an alert and explain things here okay i would really recommend that because in your real app in the app that you ship you don't want to the user to have a specific feature in the app that like the user doesn't know why doesn't he or she can use this app okay so let's um that's it about call location permission and with the minute that we start updating the location we have a bunch of location details, a bunch of locations. Actually, it is an array of locations, okay? And we will need to have some delegate method to um, know that we have those location, okay? And that comes the CR Location Manager delegate. Now let's have a mark over here. That is CR Location. Manager delegate, and this delegate has the location manager did update locations with locations. Okay, so I would use func location manager. I will see did update should be down below here. Did update locations locations. All right, and now inside here we have the manager. Okay. And what we care about is the locations, uh, an array of any object, right? So now I will use location equals locations as locations as CL, actually as look CL location, okay? CL location is simply just a location. And I would downcast it from an array of any object. To an array of CL location and for Swift 1.2 we have to downcast it and make it like that okay and so we have an array of CL location and now I want it to have the last element inside this array okay the point is that this array every time the phone continuously updates the location uh, let's say the user moves around and uses the app and those locations will be pushed to this array to the the newest location will be the last element so we use the newest okay and we will st stop updating location okay location manager dot start not start monitoring stop updating location like that well, why do we have to stop updating location? Well, the the reason is when we get get this location, we don't need the any location anymore because when we get this location, all we need to do is we will 
update this label, okay? And that's it. That's it for our purpose, okay? And we will stop updating location because we want to save the battery. That is incredibly important, okay? And now, what is this location? We will need to have a computed, um, actually a variable for this location, okay? So let's have that var location. It is a CL location, like that. And when I did set it, I will update the latitude and longitude label, okay? So in the did set, I will update the, the, the those labels, okay? So let's see what do we get from this CL location. I will hold command and then click into that. So for this CL location, we have something, um, let's see, we have the coordinate, the altitude, horizontal accuracy, vertical accuracy, things like that, okay? And what we care about these is the coordinates, right? And this get only means that, it, um, so if I will click on see our location coordinate 2D. And for this, voila, we have the latitude and longitude. So what we need to do is we have, we have this CR location. We'll accept this coordinate. And inside this coordinate, it is a struct. Okay, and it has the latitude and longitude. So that's what we need to do. So for the did set, I will do um, latitude label dot text equals, and now I will use string interpolation. That should be easy. And inside this should be location dot coordinate dot latitude. Okay, it's just like that. And now longitude label dot text. Can you try to do it? All right, I hope that you managed to do it. So now it should be very familiar. Location dot coordinate, coordinate dot longitude. Okay. And there it is. All right. So let's run this. It should be okay to run now. Okay, so here's is our app, my location. When I click on that, nothing happened. Well, because this is the simulator and the simulator doesn't have GPS. What we need to do is we will simulate it. Let's say I, I am in London. No, let's say I'm in Hong Kong. And I'm sorry, I'm really apologize for some background noise around. Suddenly my little town becomes New York City. <laughs> All right. So when I update location, nothing happened also. Well, the reason is we haven't told Apple or t yeah, told Apple that this app needs to use location service. What we need to do is I will go over the supporting files and info.plist, okay? And then I will add another attribute in this. I will type ns location when in use usage description okay enter like that well this is the this is the description for apple to bring up front an alert view for the user that while well, this app needs to use your location service will you allow it to use or not okay so now for this value we will just um, described why do we need to use location service let's say we are we need to we need your location to get the weather in your area let's say that okay and that should be good to go and there's another key value for this one um, for different types of um, location NS location okay you can check the documentation for that before we run this project Let's uh, don't forget about this button, okay? So I would have an um, IB action into this, okay? So this should be over here. And for this, I will say update location, okay? And that is an action, just like that, 
okay so how about this for the update location let's um let's make some room here and talk about that All right so when we update location we will simply just start updating location okay and when we call start updating location at some point location manager that update locations will get called and we will assign the last object into this location and when this location is set it is it, set then we update the label that's the flow of this pro uh, program okay so we'll location manager dot start updating location just like that and let me explain it again when we click on update location we call location manager dot start updating location and at some point we will get called the delegates method location manager did update locations locations and then we will assign the last object inside this array of locations into this and then we start updating the location the minute we did set this location variable because over here we have the did set okay then we we'll update those labels with a new value of location okay let's run this all right so we, you'll see that we the, this banner this um, alert view allows location to access your location while in use where you use the app and then here is our message we need your location to get the weather in your area so now we allowed okay and then you can uh, click update location but what we need to do is because this is the simulator and the simulator doesn't have UPS I'm sorry GPS okay so what we need to do is we will need to simulate the location of this let's say I am in real de jan real something <laughs> okay so now i update the location nothing happened oh here it is very nice so let's try it again mm, new york where's new york okay there you go and i know that this is new york latitude and longitude because i just have a project that will use this okay so there we go very simple we learned quite a lot in this call location daily challenge so until next time i see you in the next daily challenge i hope that you enjoy this if you have any question please feel free to post any questions in the comments down below if you want to download the complete project of this please go to developerinspirers.com and leave any comments for me what you think that i can improve the daily challenge Till next time, I see you in the next daily challenge.